to Fat and Funny, week like, I don't know, 7, 6, 12, 502, and God knows. Uh, so, I hope you enjoyed the updated uh, workout stuff. Um, it's funny, in the moment, I feel like I'm doing a plank right, and then I see myself and realize my body's doing a lot of this, uh, and yet, I can't even imagine any lower without collapsing. Uh, and you can see I'm constantly looking at the clock going, sweet God, let this stop. Um, so, this week, uh, I have to say it has been a challenging week. It's my first week at, um, it's the bunny. Uh, it's my first week on daytime uh, in nine weeks. Uh, and, uh, you know, I only had to get up at like 6, 30, 7 o'clock, but uh, I felt I felt it was, it was a little bit tough. Uh, next week is getting up at 4.45. Um, and a new class and all the hecticness that comes with that. Uh, but yeah, other than the fact that it was a first daytime week, um, I saw my doctor and I don't remember if I, oh look, bunny, bunny, uh, if I had said anything but my, uh, anti-TPO, which essentially just like antibodies that impact your thyroid gland were like five times what they're supposed to be. Uh, so, uh, finally I got my doctor to willingly send me to do a test, only to find out today that she sent me to do the wrong test. Thankfully I haven't done it yet, but it's super frustrating. Uh, but it's just, so, I think today a bit is just partially as a rant. Um, so my doctor deemed that I should have lost more weight. 16 pounds, 10 weeks. I personally would like would love to have lost more weight uh, and firmly believe I probably should have lost more weight and deep down I think there is something wrong with my thyroid but I have to go through every test in the bloody universe thanks to Canadian healthcare. Oh Canada. Anyway. Um, so yeah. So I cut onions in my face. It feels like it's going to fall apart. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm still, can't look, uh, those 16 pounds and, and not be proud. Still love you. So, um, and, uh, and her answer to me was that I needed to go on a diet. Yes. My doctor said to go on a diet. Now she knows I see a nutritionist once a week and my lovely nutritionist, Julie, watches this. Um... Hi, Julie. Uh, so, and she has been very patient, very good, very structured with what I should be eating. And um, I have very much changed the way I look at food, the way I act about food. Uh, this week I wanted junk food, so I made mashed potatoes. That's my idea of junk food. Um, tonight I made super healthy coleslaw and shrimp for fajitas. Like, I don't eat crap. Uh, or if I do, it's very, 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 very seldom. So, um, her, my doctor's lovely response, sorry, I'm taking my sock off. Uh, my boss is paying attention. Gay sock. Gay sock. Yay. Sorry. Um, is to cut out carbs in any way, shape, or form as a diet. Um, and to decrease the already 15,000, 1,500 calories that I'm eating per day. 1,000, I wish. Uh, 1,500 calories I eat per day to about 1,000. Uh, now guys, just putting in perspective, uh, my full body workouts, which I do three times a week, I burn 900 calories just in that hour and 15-ish minutes. So uh, she definitely, she wants me to, to live on a deficit. I would like to live. So at the end of my lovely meeting with my doctor, her response was, well, try no carbs for two months. And if it doesn't, if you don't make the headway, just come back and see me and I'll send you for gastrofen. Now, I'm going to preface this by saying, anybody who's had any type of weight loss surgery, I am not judging you. This is not against you. This is nothing in regards to you, to your choice, to your life. I have friends who've done it. I'll, like it, it's, it's an individual choice. But I've been that, I'm that person who knows that I can lose this weight. I can get there. And I hate the idea, for me, if I choose to do this for me, and again, please, anybody who's had this, do not feel I'm judging you. But if I do this, I feel like I'm quitting without having given this the, you know, 
old college try. No, but without giving this the full effort that I know I can do. Um, and you know, I will say though, that if let's say the doctor said it was a, you know, you need to do this, that I would do it. But at least I know that if I were to do it, or if I ha was in that position and needed to do it, that my eating is right. Because I don't believe that, you know, this surgery should be paid for if you don't know how to eat, unless it's a life-threatening situation. Because what's going to happen, and I've seen it happen to people who've had the surgery, continue to eat badly and have not, not lost and in fact have gained. So, you know, for me, it was a bit of a slap in the face. So I'm like, you know, you know, I'm trying, you see me trying, um, you guys see this, you know, my fat ass on trying to do a plank, you know, it is not easy. Um, Wednesday, I went to the gym at quarter to eight at night and it was not like, I did not want to go to the gym. I had worked all day. I had a huge day coming up and it was frustrating. Like, and it was hard, but I ne never slept as well as I did that night. So, Bunny's not happy. She's digging something in her house. But anyway, what it comes down to is like, you know, I feel like doctors don't listen and they just want to give you a quick fix solution. Uh, and it, it bothers me because I have made progress. I am making progress and every single day is progress. And Bunny's not happy. Uh, Bunny's not making the same progress apparently. Um, but a doctor's just willing to be like, hey, just do, do, go do this. And anyway, so that's it for my rant this week. Uh, I want to remind you guys to never give up, to keep working at things. Um, and I, I said on Facebook this morning, um, and I quote, uh, honestly, weight loss is absolutely not um, a cut and dry, there's not like easy solution. You've got to make healthy choices, do things differently. I would have loved to have stayed in bed this morning. I got up and went to the gym. Uh, I would love to have junk food, but you change the way, you know, what you find is junk food. Uh, and um, remember to look at what you have accomplished and not what you have left to accomplish. Things I need to remind myself regularly. So for me, for this week, before I start a great seven to three schedule, okay, so my boss is listening to this, I'm happy it's seven to three. Um, have a good one. Behave, be safe. The bunny's throwing her food. She's not happy. See, that's that's not healthy. Anyway, guys, for me, Corey, in this wintery wonderland, I uh, wish you nothing but the best. Behave, be good. Hey, guys. <laughs>